Tantrist or, or moderate has has power in some circumstances, and in other circumstances, it's a losing formula. So sometimes it's a winning formula, sometimes it's a losing formula. Like everything else, it is contingent. It is dependent on context, time, and place, and and events. So a moderate centrist stand may look magnificent one moment and <laughs> look like weak tea the next moment because events have changed. But one one through line that I see is that you should not engage in rhetoric or behavior that energizes and arouses your opposition more than it energizes and arouses your supporters. So I, I saw that Trump did a lot of things that energized and aroused his opposition more than he energized and aroused his supporters, and that's why Trump lost. Trump lost the 2018 and the 2020 elections by losing the suburbs by 2%. And I think that that's, that's the problem. And, and I think that the alt-right flamed out because by doing things that uh, titillated their supporters, they they fired up their opponents to, to a degree that was absolutely unfathomable to, to the old right, and the old right got absolutely crushed because they didn't think about the consequences of what they're doing. So you could you could you know blast music from your window like late at night and and have complete disregard for your neighbors, but there are probably going to be negative consequences to that. So you can. You can treat your neighbors badly at one minute and you think, yeah, I got away with that because I'm such a powerful person, but you have no idea of the whirlwind that you may be reaping through energizing your opposition. There's no question that Trump did supercharge his opposition.